Now, when the Fujifilm X-H2S was announced, I thought that this would be the perfect camera. And yeah, I'm happy to say that I was right. With the addition of F-Log2, B-RAW, and Apple ProRes RAW, I could tell that Fuji was seriously targeting professional video shooters like myself. Now, I've been using this camera for a month, and even though I have ran into one to two issues, I can still say that this is a phenomenal camera. But today we'll be talking about how to import ProRes RAW into DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you try to import the regular ProRes RAW file, all you will see is the audio files and Resolve. Now, in order to import your Apple ProRes file, you need a program from the Apple Store called RAW Converter. And I'm sorry to say for your Windows users, this is only available on the Apple ecosystem. So when you open this RAW Converter, you'll see that you'll have different aspect ratio options. You'll have lossless, three to one, five to one, and seven to one. Once converted, you'll take the entire folder that the app generated and you'll drop the entire folder into DaVinci Resolve. And that will have your clip. Now, if you're like me and you're using a Mac, make sure that your color management is set to DaVinci YRGB. Timeline color space set to Rec 709A. And your output color space can be set to same as Timeline or Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Next, go to DaVinci, click Preference, and make sure that these first three settings are clicked. Then go to your export settings, scroll down, go to advanced settings, and make sure your color space tag is set to Rec 709. And you need to do the same for your gamma tag. So like I said earlier, using these settings will ensure that you have color accuracy. Also, I wanted you guys to know that I have started my own Fujifilm group called Fujifilm Creators. I'll leave the link below so you can go ahead and join the group if you want to. I want people to feel comfortable when they come to this group. I want them to know when they post their work, they will get constructive criticism, but not in a negative way. Also, I am selling two LUTs on my website. I am selling an Amber LUT and my Sapphire LUT. My Amber LUT is actually an F-Log 2 LUT, and I used it for the B-roll that you saw in the opening of this video. And my Sapphire LUT is actually a raw LUT. So if you're getting or have the Fujifilm HS2S, these two LUTs will be perfect for you and your workflow. Now, there is no one-click solution, so if you do apply these LUTs, expect that you will have some adjustments to make. So thank you to everybody who checked out this video. Thank you to everybody who stuck around to the end. Before you go, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Peace.